Uh, hey everyone, welcome to Barnbridge Project Call 28. Um, some exciting updates. We have a um, a few things we'd like to chat through today around kind of longer term roadmap planning. But um, to kick things off, I'll just pass it over to Bogdan for uh, dev updates this week. Yes, short ones. And I mean, by the time this call is uh, published, uh, these aren't actually going to be updated because the front end is probably going to be released before this. But uh, yeah, we have some um, some front end uh, UI changes um, for for smart offer. We have two new DeFi uh, post index based uh, smart offer pools, um, DPI ETH and DPI USD. They both start epoch one next uh, next Monday, and uh, we also have the Arbitrum release. So uh, that's uh, at least the end of the weekly cadence for for layer two. It's next one. It's going to be optimism, but that's not uh, uh, not fixed on the roadmap. Uh, so yeah, just uh, those uh, three points I have to touch on for the live updates. Back to you, Christian. Thanks, Bargain. Um, before we jump into the operations side of things, I want to just kind of mention a couple of notes around you know the past past few weeks roadmap planning and kind of where we're going from here, just um, more tactically. So. On the Smart Alpha side, we have deployed across a number of layer twos, Polygon, BSC, Avalanche, Arbitrum, we're looking at optimism. Um, immediate next steps there really are to build out tailored marketing, business development strategies for each of those networks. And as that kind of splinters off, we'll have native partners, native assets, native pools, we'll look to build out and incentivize. That'll be a big focus for us going forward. Um, Concurrently, on more of the core protocol development front, you know, we've had weeks of roadmap planning sessions. Um, you know, we, we, we've aligned on the next two areas for the core development team to, to, to build out, Bogdan's team to build out. We're going to be building a, a new fixed rate senior note product, um, as well as looking to build out smart yield kind of V2 um, addressing some of the concerns, gaps we flagged from the community and, and the ecosystem, hoping to kind of build that out further. So over the next couple of weeks, we'll, we'll be defining a, a spec for those products, and we aim to share more details around timelines and the development process for each of those in the next call. So exciting updates uh, coming, but um, that's kind of where we stand on the, on the, on the next phase of, of Barnbridge. Um, Tyler, is, that, is there what you want to add to that? Um, I would say in general, um, I think like how fast we've been shipping this, these layer twos has been, uh, impressive. It's just been like a clip every single week. Um, so obviously, uh, the dev team has been busy working on that and kind of going, I, they're, they're doing that in conjunction while they're essentially working through, uh, that we just released a new products so we have to like continue to monitor and like make sure things don't uh break and just retroactively bug fix um so simultaneously while we've been doing all that we're also working on kind of the where we go from here roadmap and we're obviously taking that pretty seriously um just given how much it affects barnbridge like it's basically a forward looking uh not like statement but generalized plan so yeah i mean i would just say that i think we've been working our asses off and that uh it sounds like in two weeks we'll start to have stuff that we can uh share with everybody awesome thanks Tyler. uh so let's shift to more tactical operations team updates um max is unable to join today so i'll be covering one of his items and then Pavel will be covering another. Um, so really, you know, I think that the near term focus is going to be this layer two tailored outreach co marketing co BD strategy. Um, we've, we've engaged the avalanche team. We're looking to build out um, some work around incentives there. We're, we're, we're trying to find key partners in that ecosystem. We've started working with the pangolin team to build out, you know, a, a joint roadmap with them. We'll be doing the same with, Polygon, uh, and then as Arbitrum comes live, we'll look to do the same there. So I think there's going to be 
a lot of parallel work streams with each of these teams and the associated native products projects um, on those networks that I think will will really help uh, grow Smart Alpha kind of horizontally across these networks. Um, with that, I'll pass it over to Pablo for additional updates. And um, go ahead, Pablo. Sure. Hello, everyone. Uh, so as Christian mentioned, we have been kind of like in talks with different L2 teams looking for expanding like the partnership opportunities around marketing. Uh, and uh, also one uh, milestone from the marketing standpoint was that we released the Smart Alpha video yesterday. Uh, have got have gotten uh, some good feedback uh, from you and uh, from the community on, on social media too. So um, feel free to use that uh, and share it with everyone who you actually trying to, to um, explain Smart Alpha. And now like having this two um, explainer videos, uh, we believe that it's gonna just be easier to curl awareness um, and kind of like help uh, people to um, understand uh, and like kind of like um, get the basics of Barnbridge. Uh, other than that, one area that we have been exploring was how we can actually utilize some uh, paid marketing opportunities. And the one thing that we actually are trying to narrow down is building a strategy around uh, the brave ads. And uh, we, what we want to do with this uh, smart alpha video explainer, we just uh, want to build a kind of like a landing page and uh, pilot uh, an advertising campaign uh, that's going to be targeted in the landing page that will cover Smart Alpha and then uh, have like some uh, call to actions to kind of like dive deeper into the product. Uh, so uh, that's going to help with growing um, awareness around the smart alpha. And one other thing that I'd like to cover would be uh, this Olympus Pro Davo. So uh, there was a form, uh, there was a post uh, submitted on forum uh, that got like uh, a pretty uh, decent amount of uh, comments and there was a good discussion around that and then it finally uh, uh, was posted as a vote on Signal. So the vote is currently running and it's gonna be uh, running through October 16. So if you haven't, uh, haven't uh, gotten a chance to vote yet, feel free to do that now. Uh, you still have two days uh, and that said, um, I guess that's everything I have on my site. I see Max just just hopped on. Um, Max, we tried to touch upon a couple of your items, but any other any other things you wanted to, wanted to cover or, or, or flag for this week? Um, sure, I, I, I can add on to that Olympus Pro point um, and, and talk a bit more about um, the the Avalanche uh, and Pangolin conversation we had, Christian. If that hasn't been touched upon yet. We, we mentioned it briefly, but, but, but go ahead uh, a little deeper if you can on the pangolin side. Sure. Um, so just to add on to Pablo's point on Olympus Pro, um, should that kind of snapshot signal go through uh, positively? And I think there's you know, outright consensus at, at this point already. Um, we'll do that DAO vote. And essentially what that will result in happening is uh, 15,000 bond gets set aside in a Olympus Pro smart contract and people will be able to purchase discounted bonded bond. Um, it's locked for a couple days uh, according to their mechanism uh, in exchange for bond, uh, probably USDC, uh, uni LP shares. And so what this allows us to do is the DAO will be able to start accumulating its own liquidity 
Uh, and importantly, it could also start farming its own liquidity, right? Because at the moment we have those 20,000 bond and emissions every week hitting um, people that are providing liquidity. And so it almost has a double benefit given our situation. Um, and yeah, I was just excited to see the amount of community outpour uh, around this uh, concept kind of in the forum there. Um, and then on the Avalanche side, uh, we had the chance to speak with uh, the Pangolin team uh, last week. They're the kind of like decentralized exchange alongside Trader Joe on, on Avalanche. And they're taking a pretty interesting approach in terms of kind of expanding what they offer users. Um, they want to be more than just a, a swap platform at the end of the day. Um, and so they're really gung ho on integrations with other teams such that they can kind of build Pangolin into a DeFi portal uh, on, on Avalanche. Uh, so we'll be getting back to them with ideas around how uh, they could maybe integrate Smart Alpha in, in a deeper way beyond just uh, hosting it on their front end. Um, and hopefully that's a good opportunity to kind of um, uh, pilot you know, concepts that might have been raised in the Discord or forum discussions um, as well. Um, so I, I'll, I can share that um, once we start those conversations too. Awesome. Thanks, Max. Um, anything else, guys, uh, for today? I don't see any specific questions, but um, anything else we want to cover for this for this call? I would just say shout out to Aaron Dana. Um, he's been killing it absolutely on Twitter. Uh, I actually reached out to her via DM. I, I think that I'm gonna put something in like a forum post to find a way to compensate. It sounds like she has like a marketing agency in Brooklyn. So maybe there's a way that we could look at actually compensating for some of that. Uh, content that she's creating because it's it's obviously i mean i think people are noticing and I, I see more and more people in discord saying that they found this through aaron dana so as people talk about awareness like obviously you know the brave stuff is is awesome i i see a lot of what's like i think we've been doing a good job of marketing lately like the bankless stuff like i even had some some really large uh money managers forward me like that uh email um, saying that they essentially saw it. So I'm impressed by uh, Bankless's reach. Um, like the Brave stuff, being able to, you know, see, um, like I see One Inch there all the time because uh, I get their push notifications. So without rambling, I guess what I'm saying is like, nothing is better than like organic kind of marketing from the community in general. Um, and since like Aaron came up doing that organically, I don't think it comes across as like shilling if we, you know, are essentially uh, kind of picking it up now. Because what I'm trying to say is because it happened so so organically, I think it's uh, it would actually be cool to compensate it going forward. Because it's yeah, I'm I'm going in a circle, but I think everybody gets my point. <laughs> Just I agree. A special shout out. Definitely. We appreciate it. Cool guys. All right. I think we're we're good to uh, to call this one. Um, looking forward to the next next project call in a couple of weeks.